The film being produced by Subiram Reddy is on an epic scale and is the 81st directorial venture of the 76-year-old G.V. Iyer. Knows as the great son of our India, but common man has no opportunity to know about his life story and the events in his life and what message is given to society and what inspiration he gave to the youth. So if you see a film, they'll know, they'll be able to know what was Vekananda's message to country and world. In a bold move, disco dancer Mithun Chakravarti has been cast as Ramkrishna Parmahansa and Hema Malini as Goddess Kali. Shashi Kapoor and Shami Kapoor have been cast as Maharajas and Anupam Kher as a station master. Sarvadamana Banerjee, who played Krishna in Ramanand Sagar's teleserial Sri Krishna, is Swami Vivekananda. The music has been scored by the veteran music director Salil Chaudhary. Popular Bollywood choreographer Chinni Prakash is also part of the credits. Why did G.V. Iyer, who has consciously avoided glamour in his earlier films, decide to cast so many Bombay film stars this time? My pictures will always be in the boxes without going to the light. I wanted just this picture to go for the more, for more people, for more audience. Make the film an enjoyable and at the same time enlightening fair. Which is of the period when Swami Vivekananda comes to the kingdom of Khetri. The king of Khetri donates money to Vivekananda to go to Chicago. At the time when Swamiji is making his way to the palace, the royal dancer is also making her entry in her palanquin. Swamiji looks down upon such dancers, but after her song and dance, he changes his opinion and asks for forgiveness. It fills my heart with abundant joy and unspeakable to do this role. And I'm feeling great by doing this film, Swami Vivekananda. For the producer, Subiram Reddy, doing mega film ventures comes as a matter of long habit. While very few are aware of the fact, he is a man of many facets. The former chairman of Tirumala Tirupati Trust and chief of the film jury, he is the man behind many a Tamil, Telugu and Hindi blockbuster, including entertainment perhaps falls short of providing the fulfillment that he looks for in the art form. And producing films like Swami Vivekananda and Bhagavad Gita is like doing a duty towards society. I felt that I must make another great film after Bhagavad Gita. So when I was thinking, then Mr. Ayer told me that why not we make a film on Vivekananda. Then I immediately felt it will be a great uh, opportunity for me to serve the society by making a film on Vivekananda. Totally siphon, a rupee we didn't get. I think perhaps about a crore rupees. I could have spent for that and we didn't get. Undaunted, the producer-director duo of Reddy and Iyer have launched a yet more ambitious venture. G.V. Iyer, who is held in great esteem by Reddy, shot into fame when he won the national award for his Sanskrit film Adi Shankaracharya. Swami Vivekananda, being shot both in English and Hindi, is for Iyer a way of paying his tribute to the great philosopher saint from modern Indian history. Nobody is doing the pictures on philosophy. Those people who are bright people, youngsters, who can, uh, when they are in, inquisitively wanted to know about what is our past, what is our heritage, what is our treasure, then this will, these pictures may help for them. For that I am doing. And the clinking of the cash box is the raison d'etre for filmmaking. The spirit of Reddy and Iyer is indeed commendable. Whether the film on Swamiji's life is a commercial success or not, the cinema buff is keenly looking forward to its completion in the near future. The epic story of Swami Vivekananda being made for the big screen. That is all we have for you this week. From all of us at the India This Week team, thank you and Namaskar. Namaskar.